Hello guys, this is Bobby from Bobster Tech, and this is my first video on this channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to put OSX Mountain Lion on Oracle VM VirtualBox. So what you're going to need is, of course, VirtualBox, the Mountain Lion ISO, or DMG for the Mac virtual file, and uTorrent to get it. So I'm going to leave the link in the description for the torrent, and, just, and I'll leave a link for uTorrent also. So what you want to do is open up VirtualBox and create a new virtual machine. And if you're new to VirtualBox, you won't see these here because I've already made two other virtual machines. So click New and make sure you select Mac OS X and then the version type you want to put as OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion 64 bit. And then you can just name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it Bobster Tech, because that's the sickest name ever. And OK. And you want to give it the amount of memory in the green. If you go in the orange or red, you'll lose uh, memory in your main system, which can make your computer have a blue screen, and you just don't want to go there. OK, next, you want to create a new virtual hard drive now. So click Create. And you want it to be a VDI, a virtual box disk image, and then click Next. And make sure it's dynamically located. You can use a fixed size, but it'll take up it'll reserve twenty gigabytes of your memory space for VirtualBox and that's just a waste of space. So if you do dynamically located, it might slow down your performance just a teeny bit, but it's worth it. So Alright, and then you just twenty gigabytes should be fine. And just click create because you can change this in the future. Alright, so now we have our virtual machine set up. So now we need to go to settings, and this is okay. Then go to system, and make sure you disable the EFI, and this is good there. And the video memory is probably either 6 megabytes or 12 megabytes. Put it all the way up to the max, because Mac OS t uses a lot of video memory. And make sure you enable 3D acceleration. And right here, this is where you're going to put in your Mountain Lion ISO. So where it has the empty CD, you want to click that and then click right here, this little CD symbol thing. And then you wanna, you're going to want to click um, whichever one you have. I mean, whichever ISO you're using, which if it's the one I downloaded, it's going to, um, it's going to be... I add coast ML2 and so you're going to want to select that and click open. And now we're all set. So now what you want to going to want to do is open your virtual machine. And you'll see a box like this. You go to full screen and it's going to be booting up from your I add coast ML2 boot up disk or virtual disk. And so you just want to give it a minute to boot up. All right, so once you get to this to this screen, you want to select your language. And now you want to go to disk utility. Once you're here, you're going to want to select your GB VBox hard disk and click partition. And then you select one partition, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine Hackintosh HD. All right, then click Apply. And Partition. All right, so now you want to exit out of the disk utility. And then you want to click continue and then agree and Hackintosh HD. For a virtual box, we're not going to need to customize any custom settings. So now all you want to do is click install. All right, and it's going to take about 20 minutes depending on your computer speed and how much RAM you'll locate. So I shall be back. Okay, so my install is complete. And once my virtual machine attempted a restart I got this and um you'll probably get this too it's a kernel panic 
But it's all right. We we'll be able to fix that. And it's just with the install disk. So now you want to close your virtual machine. Make sure to select power off because you don't want to save the state. And click OK. All right. So you want to you're gonna want to go to your settings. Click storage. And go to where you've got your DMG file and right click and click remove attachment and click remove and then click OK so go ahead and start up your virtual machine and now it should say Hackintosh HD or whatever you named your partition and it should boot up just fine So now you want to select the country you live in and click continue. And then choose a keyboard layout and I'm in the US so I'm going to select the US. And you can do this if you want but I wouldn't recommend it because you don't have an actual Mac so I'm just going to select not now and click continue. And I'm not going to enable location services. Those won't work anyway so I wouldn't recommend turning it on. Click continue and then click don't use. And you can enter your Apple ID here, which I'm not going to do right now, so I'm just going to click skip, but feel free to do that. So you can download apps and use iTunes. It'll automatically log you in when you use them. And click, I'm going to click skip and skip. All right, then accept the license agreement and click agree. And now you can create your account. So I'm going to name my account user. And you can enter a password, so I'm just going to make my one, two, three and one two three and click continue and you can put a password in if you want but if you don't want to just click continue again and it will create your account and now select your time zone I am in the eastern time zone so I'm just gonna click continue and you can register your Mac but I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna click skip click skip again and your Hackintosh is set up so go ahead and click start using your Mac it'll take a minute to load up and here we go so we are in our Hackintosh virtual machine so yeah that's about it and yeah so you can use Finder, Launchpad, and Mission Control, the Safari, you can log into your email, your contacts, your calendar, your reminders, your notes. You can use iMessage on here. You can even FaceTime. And see, when I open FaceTime, I'll have no image because there's no webcam linked to your to your virtual machine so what you're gonna do to set up your that you go down here and you click devices and you click webcams then you select your web camera so now when you turn it on or give it a second it's selected and I click FaceTime again and there's me and so now you can FaceTime with your Hackintosh if you have a webcam. And yeah, that's about it. Enjoy using your mountain lion on your PC. I'll see you guys later.